Hey everyone, Steven the Salon Guy here, and before we start this video, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos, for all the comments, all the support, all the blessings, all the requests, just everything you guys do and all the interaction with you guys means so, so, so much to me. And you know, I'm not going to stop doing this, I'm going to be here for you guys for as long as I can, and hopefully we can grow this uh, together. So thank you for all the support. Now, today I have a very, very cool and interesting tutorial which I'm very excited to share with you guys. Uh, this is going to be the Jared Leto inspired hairstyle. You know, Jared, uh, congratulations to him. He's an amazing actor, also a great singer. And, you know, I'm going to give you guys a kind of an in-depth tutorial of how to get that Jared Leto inspired look. Uh, we're going to focus actually on hair color today. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of like an ombre kind of lived in look um, because Jared does have sort of like that kind of ombre lived in color throughout the ends. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that. So this is going to be a lot of fun today. Let's get started. All right. So what I've done is I just kind of section this off here. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because again, this is very, a very lived in uh, kind of rugged look. So especially with guys, the colors have to be absolutely perfect. So what we're doing is picking up the bottom section here. I'm teasing it like two or the three times. All right. So this is going to be great for uh, creating a softer blend in with the color. Now I'm taking a wrap, uh, which, are, which are helpful with uh, hair coloring. And now I'm just going to start to paint the color on uh, and work down. So I'm going to continue to do this throughout the entire head uh, in this, this fashion. Another thing you can do while you're working on this is you can actually just paint on freehand, um, which is another really cool thing. So start off throughout like the mid shaft and saturate the ends because this is really where you want the color to live is throughout the ends. All right. And then you can actually go in and use pointing in this way and you can work the color in um, throughout the top just to blend it in. Okay. Uh, but this is really, really a good way to work this in and a more natural look. So again, tease it one, two, three, maybe four times. Okay, come in with the brush, mid shaft, bam, there it is, and work it through the ends. Once you got the product worked really well and saturated throughout the ends, then you can come in like this again and paint it uh, throughout the top here just to kind of work in the color. But again, you want to really make sure this is more saturated towards the ends than anything else, okay? I'm just finishing up the last piece in the front. And as you can see here, when you go towards the very front, you don't wanna to go too, too, too high up. Uh, again, the teasing is gonna help blend it in. But uh, again, this is just throughout the, kind of the bottom half here. Uh, so you wanna use the tip of your brush, kind of like a paintbrush here, all right? Uh, and there you have it. Now at the ends, what you, what you can do is just go through everything just to kind of resaturate it uh, and uh, just to kind of make sure you have all the pieces that you want, that you need. Um, if you need to go back through any that you might have missed, okay, then you can do that. Um, but what's interesting is I heard all sorts of stuff uh, from the winners, the Oscar winners from uh, Dallas Buyers Club, uh, the process that they went through in order to get Jared's uh, hair to look like it did for the movie. I'm talking like running over the wig with a car, you know, uh, just really d getting it as grimy and just lived in as possible. So I'm going to let this process, um, but while this is processing, take a look at the Oscar winners uh, from Dallas Buyer Club from the hair and makeup uh, team. Jared and, and Matthew, like from a hair perspective, I mean, complete transformations. Well, just give me a rundown what it was like. Okay, when Matthew came to me, Matthew had already done most of the work when he lost the weight and became as as thin as he had when when I saw him he still had his blonde curly hair and I said okay let's let's take you the rest of the way Matthew you ready you know because there's a, you know, a lot of things I have to do to take you into this character and he said go for it so I said okay and then with uh, Jared you know when I met Jared I actually met Ray on I never really met Jared until the uh, the luncheon the, luncheon the, the other day I'd never even heard the real sound of his voice until the luncheon just last week this past week uh, when I met Jared the Jean-Marc was very much involved in his look and what he wanted him to look like and uh, so you know I went through several uh, wig um, 
transformations, the last one being uh, the story of me driving over the wig with my car to get it to look bad enough for what the director was looking for, and it worked. Rayanna is supposed to be a hot mess, so that's yeah. why she had to run over the wig with her car. <laughs> Alright, so for the haircut, what we're going to do, we're going to leave as much length as possible, and this is going to be relatively quick. Um, so I'm just going to literally point cut uh, into the ends, and I'm going to do a pretty much a one length uh, type haircut here with just, a, you know, by, by chipping into it with the points of my shears just to create a little bit of uh, dimension. So I'm going to follow this throughout the whole head. Uh, then for the front here, what I'm going to do is start from a little bit up here and just point cut into the bottom and just kind of work it in this way. I'm going to do that on this side as well. And, you know, you can part this pretty much anywhere you want to. Um, right here, it's kind of part on the side. Uh, but, you know, depending on how you want this to be worn, um, you might want to just kind of brush this all straight down like this. And you can chip into it like so. Again, not only for this particular look, but for, for any guy that wants this kind of look. Um, you know, this is about a lived-in, very, you know, more rugged, grunge type feel so you don't you know you don't have to worry as much about you know all the the precision uh, about you know you want this to really be a little more uh, on the edgier side okay so now we're done with this for the layering uh, what I'm going to do is just really do some very very light cleaning up uh, I'm going to take my first section right throughout the right thread here okay uh, I'm just going to raise the camera up a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm just going to bring this up like this and just point cut uh, into the layers just again to blend it in and just to give it a very soft natural blend. So I'm going to continue to do this um, pretty much throughout the whole head and even throughout the top here. Bring everything straight up like this. All right and we're going to point cut throughout the whole top. So everything is pretty much brought straight up and worked in uh, to just kind of give it a little bit of a shaping. You know, nothing too, too, too crazy, uh, but you just want to clean up the ends here just so it has a, a nice, uh, nice, the ends are nice and, and freshened up. Um, but again, you want this to look a little more uh, rugged and lived in. So I'm just going to finish this up here uh, and then we're going to blow dry it. Alright, for the styling, uh, I'm going to use the uh, Angel Professional Nourishing Cream. It's a leave-in cream. Uh, it makes the hair feel nice and soft, uh, really really nice and smooth. But when we blow dry it, we are going to really kind of scrunch it and uh, rough it up a little bit just because we want the ends to look like they're a lot more lived in. And who knows what we'll do to make the ends lived in. I mean, maybe we will uh, run the mannequin over with a car. We'll see. <laughs> is it me or this is starting to look like Brad Pitt from Legends of the Fall? Alright, so here's the uh, finished result as far as the color goes. I'm going to spray a little light hairspray on this. Um, and again, we want to really rough this up and have it somewhat of a, a really lived in look. Um, but I love the color, how it's just kind of, you know, worked in here uh, very, very naturally. Um, it's not, you know, overbearing or too, too light. So any as you can see here, any guy can really wear this, uh, and I really want to, um, this is exactly what I was trying to achieve. Now, again, um, from what the Oscar winner said about creating his hairstyle for, um, during Dallas Buyers Club, uh, you know, it was very, very lived in, and they did everything they possibly could to really rough it up, to really have it lived in. So I'm going to be using the TI uh, iron by iTech here, and I'm just going to create some like soft waves just to kind of really again give it a little bit of of edge here a little bit of of a wave and uh this is just gonna really 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 just work this in a little bit just to give it kind of a softer uh see that it's just creating soft waves here so nothing too too feminine um just take random pieces here and just turn lock it in and turn the iron like this uh, just to create a little bit of uh, softness throughout the bottom here. So I'm going to continue this throughout the whole head, uh, and then we'll be finished. So here we have the uh, result here with the smoothing, after we did some waves of the smoothing iron. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of hair cream 
And again, we really want to make this as lived in as possible, um, as, as kind of dirty, you know, almost like that lived in, you know, a couple of days old, hasn't been washed uh, kind of look. And, and, and this is the best way to do it, is to really use product, use something that's going to give it that edgy, uh, really soft kind of feel, um, really just kind of rough it up a little bit, you know, and, and, and give it that kind of really lived in, beachy kind of look. Um, so I'm just going to really, really work this in more um, and uh, work the product in, really kind of scrunch it up a little bit, you know, uh, make it a little bit smoother and flatter throughout the top here, like he has it uh, again, and then the movement and stuff really comes in throughout the ends here. So uh, I think this looks awesome. I think it's a, a really cool look, especially if guys have like longer hair and they're looking for something that's not uh, too, you know, too harsh as far as the look. Here's the color here, as you can see. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. Very, very kind of worked and lived in and almost like that organic type look. So uh, I, I'm really, really happy with how this came out. This is exactly kind of what I was looking for. Um, and I'm super, super thrilled about this and honored that I actually got to interview the nominees uh, and the winners uh, of hairstyling, of makeup and hairstyling uh, at the Oscars. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. And uh, excuse me, Jared, give, give me some room over here. <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching. Um, thanks for all the requests. Keep them coming. And I'll see you guys soon for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.